through Elite Personal Fit. We have Logan, my son-in-law, my name is Jim. We're gonna run through a body split workout for you guys today. And today is chest, shoulders, and triceps. So those pushing muscles of the upper body, okay? Um, if you haven't seen this channel before, guys, or these videos, we're gonna run through this workout in real time. Um, so it's very easy to follow along. We're also gonna make use of some basic household items. If you have weights, use them, but some people don't have weights, so we want to make sure that everyone has an opportunity to get a, get a great workout at, at home or on the road. Um, just a few items you'll need today. Um, we're going to need um, somewhere in the area of two, and listen guys, depending on your strength, you can vary that. We're going to use these gallon jugs like dumbbells. So you've got one or two in each hand. So that's two to four gallon jugs right there. Okay. Um, we're also going to use, if you look down here, we have an optional, this is a push broom. We kind of twisted the broom off, which is great because, you know, they don't have that thing on the side, but you don't have to have a push broom. You can use a mop, a regular broom. So Logan's got this and we've just strung, it slides right through these handles on the gallon jug. So you have like a little homemade barbell set, okay? So guys, I'm going to say, if you're going to use the optional broomstick, we're going to use it for, I think just one exercise today. We're going to use it for a tricep extension, okay? Like a skull crusher. Okay, um, so you may want, you know, I don't know, two to six gallon jugs on there, and you may want two to four for hand. I'm gonna say two to eight gallon jugs, okay, to try to be on the higher side. Um, but you get by with just a couple, okay? Um, you'll need a chair. That's it. That's it, guys. So, gallon jugs, chair, maybe an optional broomstick. You've got yourself a great little workout using some basic household items, all right? Uh, I'm gonna walk us through this routine and Logan is gonna do, he is the muscle behind this workout. So he's gonna do the workout itself and you can do it right along with him. And I'll just try to point out maybe some things you can do to help maybe target the muscle you're trying to, trying to hit with that particular exercise. And maybe a few pointers on trying to eliminate maybe a little joint pain so you get the most of your workout and you feel better when you're, when you're done, okay? Uh, we have one circuit, I will throw that up. And I think guys, when Logan, when you're here, we have a, I think it'll be right here, guys. So it'll be right here. You're able to see the routine. And like I said, we'll walk you through each exercise, okay? Two rounds of this today. And we're going to start, guys, with, I kind of like this. And I don't know why. I started doing this as you're working at home and trying to be, I don't know, get two things done at the same time. We're going to do a fly to help warm up the chest and shoulders mm. and a crunch. So, guys, you can use dumbbells, of course. We're going to use gallon jugs. Fly. And at the top of the fly, we're just going to crunch up, engaging the core. So, uh, kind of a chest ab combo. Uh, guys, I'm going to move this chair. And Logan, this is a little tight here. Uh, we were using this heavy bag. I'm going to slide this over a little bit. And then, uh, what we'll do, Logan, let's let's lay down. Guys, if you're at home, we're ready to get started here. We're going to start with a fly crunch. So, Logan's going to lay down. Guys, when you go to press these weights, whether they're dumbbells or gallon jugs, Logan's going to bring them in tight to the body and almost like curl them up and then press. I don't want you to start out wide, straight in the shoulders, okay? Now, arms are fairly straight at the top, and Logan is just soft, the elbows is perfect. As you come out wide, guys, the elbows just get a, maybe a hair softer. So we're here, and then we're gonna bring them together, tighten the chest, and then crunch, perfect. Guys, I'd like to get around 15 of these, okay? So you're gonna try to get the chest warmed up, fired up, get a little bit of shoulders, and then I want you to exhale Exaggerate that as you crunch up, get the air out of the abdominal cavity and really contract those core muscles. And this really, guys, is really gonna target more of the more of the upper That's where we're gonna feel it. So um, just a great way to get this workout kicked off. Nice job, Logan. Great work, great work. Uh, guys, the next exercise is going to also kind of, um, it, it really gets the core. And we're gonna do a little, kind of a twisting motion here. We're gonna do a cross plank push up. Okay, so what Logan's gonna do is he's gonna get in a plank position. He's gonna be aware of his body position. We don't want to sag, okay? So we don't want to lower it. Say, and Logan does a great job of keeping a nice straight plank. Then knee across, knee across, and then we're gonna do your, your push up. So you're gonna see that. Logan, let's do this. And guys, I know push-ups aren't for everybody. You could do this on a chair or bench also, okay? So instead of the floor, you'd be elevated. Makes it a little bit easier. Uh, so if you have a hard time on the floor, guys, go to a chair or bench, okay? 
form is the same, right? So Logan will drive a knee towards the opposite elbow, boom, boom, and then a push-up, good. Guys, I'd like to get around eight to 10 of these, okay? And I realize that, you know, that's a broad range and fitness levels vary, but you have the chair option. You could even go to your knees on the push-up here, then come up to the plank, knee, knee, drop knees, do a push-up. So a couple modifications based on your, your fitness level and maybe even injuries. Nice job, nice job. All right, so guys, we're gonna give, we're gonna give like, the, 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 it's weird. We're gonna give the pushing a break, but we're still working muscles that are involved with the push. We're gonna go to an underhand frontal raise. Now this is, we have two different frontal raises today. So this one, guys, we're really trying to target more of, of the pecs or, or the chest, okay? So what Logan's gonna do, he's gonna start down at his side. So we're shoulder width, basically, right? So we're here, he's going to converge together, come up, about to face level. So when he comes up, tighten the chest, and we come down. Guys, be intentional about that chest contraction. Okay, so if you watch the when he did it, it was nice. He came up, squeezed it, and came down. I know as you get tired, they may get a little faster, but man, if you can really intentionally squeeze that chest at the top, much better workout. So, Logan, we're going, guys, I don't know, I wrote down 10 to 15, Logan. So, um, and guys, if gallon jugs are too heavy and you don't have dumbbells, you could use canned goods, okay? I want to mention that too, because sometimes these gallon jugs get a little heavy after a couple reps, okay? So, um, Logan, let's, let's, I know you did a couple. Let's knock yeah. these things out, right? So we'll come up, we're just going to contract that chest, we're going to come down. Logan, I like that. Under control, great job. So basically what Logan is trying to do, he's trying to keep as much work on the muscles as he's doing this and less work with momentum, okay? So we wanna to try to minimize momentum so we can really engage those muscles while we're trying to do these particular movements. <sighs> nice job, nice job. Okay, guys, this next one we're gonna do is a, is a, a crush press. So um, kind of because it kind of engages like the, 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 the medial, the, the, the middle of the chest, the inside of the chest, and a lot of tricep work. So if you have dumbbells, you'd lay on the floor or, or a bench, you'd press your dumbbells together, okay? So I'm pressing them together, and then you just kind of come down, like the elbows just kind of sweep by. So don't try to come up high, but just a natural boom. So you're really gonna get the chest and triceps. Now, we're gonna use gallon jugs, okay? And this one, I don't know if Logan's done this. We talked about it a little bit. Um, so you can use one or two gallon jugs in each hand if you don't have dumbbells. And we're just gonna lay on your back, Logan, all right? And guys, with gallon jugs, you can do these a couple different ways. Um, we can just press them together, Logan, like this, or you can go underhand and press them together. Wow. Okay? So the underhand kind of feels kind of good, and you might get the triceps a little more. Yeah. And what we're gonna do, and Logan, that's perfect. So if you watch Logan's arms, he's gonna come down, elbows come straight down. So if you see that, guys, you have a pretty much a right angle right here. Now what he's gonna do is he's gonna press up, tighten without snapping the elbow. Okay, and we come down, then we come, and he's trying to, push in as he pushes up okay so it's kind of got that that double kind of motion going and guys that will like i said think about the chest think about the triceps you will get a pretty good little workout with this simple exercise and you don't you don't really need a ton of weight if you're intentional about your contraction so if you watch logan he does a good job at the top he's really squeezing and he comes down under control okay so this one guys Around 15, okay? Depending on your weight, you might be a little less, maybe even a little more if, if you're using uh, a, a lighter weight. Woo! Man, how did it feel? Was that all right? Surprisingly difficult. Isn't that crazy? Wow. Guys, it's just gallon jugs. And listen, like I said, you know, if you do this a long time, you could use two gallon jugs, okay? But that is a nice little workout for the chest and triceps. Yeah. Um, our next one, guys, we're kind of staying with that tricep thing. So Logan, we're gonna go to, we're gonna lay down right. and we're gonna do this tricep extensions, cool. okay? And guys, this is our broomstick exercise. So again, and you don't need the broomstick, guys. You could just use gallon jugs. The broomstick offers you the ability to maybe use a little heavier weight uh, and, and your grip is a little more comfortable. As you get heavier, two gallon jugs is okay, but it might be a little uncomfortable with the hands. This makes it a little, a little more comfortable. It feels like you're in the gym, sort of, you know what I mean? So what we're gonna do here, um, Logan, great job. Logan's gonna angle his arms back, okay? And now he's gonna come down, 
just over the head. So I don't want you to come down to your face, okay? And then they call him skull crushers. We're gonna go over the head slightly, drive up. His arm is at an angle at the top. He's also, guys, contracting his triceps. Now we talked about on that, that crush press just said that you're not snapping the elbows. This one's even more important for that, guys. When you come up, you're just tightening the triceps and then back down. So it looks like the arms are locked, but you're not putting extra stress on that, on that elbow joint. Nice job. And guys, I'm telling you, if you think about this and you, you have your, your mind and muscle connection and you're just thinking about those triceps the whole time, you don't need a lot of weight on this one either. You will feel those triceps start burning. I mean, even if, with no weight, if you just contract it every time, you'd feel that. So um, just another good exercise. Logan, <laughs> awesome. Could you feel those too? Yeah. That's great. That is great. And I know that's a, that's a fun one for Logan. I, I think he likes the bench dips and the tricep yep. extensions. Um, guys, this next one is fun. So this is, I mentioned we had, we had the underhand funnel raise, okay? Which is really um, a little more pep driven, although you get some front deltoid, okay? Um, the, the anterior. So what Logan's gonna do now is we're really gonna focus on these shoulders now, okay? Um, and I'm right, I wrote down eight to 12 reps. You can use dumbbells with this also, okay? What we're gonna do is we're gonna come up in a neutral position, okay? So if you had dumbbells, you could come up like this, which typically your palms are down, but something a little different here. We're gonna raise up at the top, guys. So, hey, watch your shoulders. Make sure you're soft at the elbows. I want your arms straight, but not locked, okay? So soft elbows, we're gonna come up, and then we're just gonna pour the belt. All right, so we're up, we're gonna like, pour the pitcher, and we're gonna come down. Come up and turn. And guys, listen, if you have shoulder pain with that, for whatever reason, I don't wanna cause pain, just do, just do some lighter frontal raises. Again, can goods work if you don't have dumbbells and if the gallon jugs are too heavy, or you could take some water out of the gallon jugs, all right? Logan, you ready for this? Yeah. So guys, around eight to 12 of these, this is, this is a burner here, all right? So we're coming up. Again, we're not trying to use too much momentum. We're coming up. We're just gonna rotate, come back, and down. And you should feel that. Is that yeah. isn't that great? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Take a grip on these probably. Maybe we'll see. Perfect. Perfect. That's it. That's it. Now, Lowe would want to get a better grip on them. Now make sure you don't grab too tight when you right. get those flexors in. I'm trying to figure out maybe would it be would it defeat the purpose if I kind of hold them sideways like that? Or is that? Hey, whatever's comfortable. Okay. Now, I usually have them straight because I don't want to grab it too tight. So right. I try to slide my hand in there. I just come up, hey, don't worry about getting a huge turn. Just just a little and down. Okay. All right. They're just, just hard, you know what I mean? Yeah. Good, just a little turn, there you go. And Logan, seriously, if, if, this, is, if this is comfortable, because I see you trying to almost don't worry about coming all the way over. Just, just a little turn. Okay. All right. That's it. Is that, is that a little better? Yeah. So it's just the, the awkwardness of the, uh, the jugs. Right, right. Nice. These are just our advanced dumbbells, Logan. Right? You have yeah. the weight, it moves around, yeah. it's harder to hold. <clears throat> Great job. Okay, that's enough. That's perfect. That's perfect. Okay, so that first time for those, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Hey guys, this next one we're gonna do, we're gonna sort of tie the core in a little bit with this. Um, although we're gonna sit down now, you're still gonna engage the core somewhat. You could do this standing, okay? But our ceiling height is kind of low here, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a seat and we're gonna do a one-arm shoulder press, but we're gonna we're gonna do a, a twist with this. Okay, so we're gonna start with your elbow in front of the body. Palms, listen, when you're holding the jugs, I know it's a little, a little awkward, but we're gonna have to try to have the palms facing behind you as best you can. And elbow in front, yep, and we're just gonna press up and we'll turn the palm forward, good. And now we just come down. That's it, Logan, good job. Now, Logan with two gallon jugs, we're going about maybe 10 to 15. Guys, if the weight's heavy, if you only get eight, I mean, that's fine, it's light, maybe you get 20 reps, but uh, let's shoot for around 10 to 15. Nice job, and, and I like this move, you guys, because that elbow, you're kind of getting that, that, that rotation in and out, along with 
an overhead press. Okay, nice job. And Ooh. guys, I don't know if you can see Logan. I, I did the same thing, Logan. I like. I just. It's almost like an open hand. Just kind of have those jugs in there, and it's just like an open hand when you're doing it. Okay. And now we'll match reps here on the other side. Nice work, Logan. Good job. Good job. We'll just get that elbow in front a little bit if you can. There you go. As you come down, we'll just get... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. That's it. Nice work. Perfect. Perfect. Great job. Nice work. It's not pretty quick. Eh? Um, guys, we have, we have a bench or chair dip next. If you're comfortable right there, then yeah. use, the, use yeah. the bench. So guys, bench or chair, uh, we've, we've got both. So I'm just going to have Logan slide over here. I'll get this out of the way. Uh, guys, bench dips, we're trying to focus on the triceps. So we're thinking about the back of the arms, okay? Another one, just like our tricep extensions, where you don't want to jam the elbows down. Just come up, squeeze, and down slow, okay? Couple things. Your foot placement can make this a little bit harder or a little bit easier. The tighter your feet are to your body, it's going to be just a, a little bit easier. You get a little help with the legs. As you straighten those out or even throw them up on another chair, you can make it a, a, a little bit harder. Okay, so that's number one for how challenging you want the exercise to be. Number two is keep that body tight to your chair or bench. Okay, if you get a lot of separation, you're going to feel a bad pain in the shoulder, like a strain, and we don't want that. Okay, we just want the muscles to burn. All right. So Logan, when you're ready, how are you feeling? You're doing okay. Uh, good. Yeah, I think I actually want to try. I you want to try to put them up? Chair. Yeah. Perfect, perfect. So guys, we're going to do a little more advanced motion. So if you have a second chair, you can do that. That's perfect. And now we just come down under control and drive up. Logan, that's it. Beautiful, beautiful. There's a point where the student becomes the instructor, okay? <laughs> yeah. You're starting to push a little bit, Logan, all right? So, great job. Did you feel those a little yeah. bit? Oh, yeah. So, great little exercise, guys. And remember, you don't have to have that second chair if you want. You know, just bring your feet in if it gets too challenging, all right? Guys, that was our, that was one round through, okay? So, pretty good job of hitting those muscles. Um, the great thing is we kind of did some pushes. Now we're going to do kind of a fly motion. So, you get a little break from that and a crunch. Um, get a drink if you need it, guys. I'm going to move this chair out of your way, Logan, and... In a minute here, well, you're ready. Mm -hmm. We'll go round two. Um, not too bad. I'm not sure how long that took, but man, that sure did seem like it went by this smooth. You know, yeah. it, was, it was great. <clears throat> gotta love the anaerobic stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta tell you, you know, and you, you know what's funny about that, Logan? If, you know, if you decrease your rest between this, you get an aerobic benefit too. Yeah. So you know, you get the anaerobic, the strength and shaping. You get the aerobic for the heart. And I gotta tell you, man. Now listen, I don't want to mock people that like to run and get on treadmills and stuff. I would much rather do this mm -hmm. than get on a treadmill oh, and yeah. just jog for forty minutes. You know, hey, and marathon runners and triathletes, guys, you guys are awesome. I'm not taking anything away from that. Uh, this is just another way to get aerobic activity. So if you decrease your rest, guys, you really maximize your benefits all the way around. All right. So guys, here we go. We've got fly crunch. <clears throat> That's it, that's it, good. Hey guys, around 15, okay? Nice job, Logan, nice job. Good job, just under control, up, squeeze, perfect. Next one, here, I'll take these okay. cross plank push ups, guys. So don't even have to get up, okay? Don't get up. Um, we're in a push up position. Now, remember, guys, you can use a chair or bench with this, okay? So again, if going to the floor is a problem, go to your chair or bench. Um, remember the knee option. You can do push up the knees and then come up and cross plank, okay? Um, so, guys, we're going, I don't know, 
I, I have written down eight to 12 of these, so somewhere in that area. Nice. Remember, nice and flat. Logan's doing a really good job of not sagging at that lower back. Great job. So guys, when you're doing this, it's like an up plank. So your core is kind of engaged the whole time with this, but then you tie those obliques with the knee crosses, and you get the push up for the chest primarily. Some shoulders, some triceps. So great exercise. Nice job, Logan. Nice. And we'll get a little break again, guys, from the traditional pushes that we're doing. And next one, look, underhand, front raise, Logan. All right. <clears throat> Now guys, as you get tired, this is round two, try to remember to use good form. Hey, even if your reps go down a little bit, try to be very intentional with repetitions, contractions. Hey, at the end, it, they may get a little quicker, but really try to focus on the muscles we're trying to engage here. Great job. And if you can't see Logan's arms, they're soft at the elbows, but they're not really bent and they're not locked. So if they're fairly straight, just soft at the elbow. Nice, Louis. Okay, great job. Logan, we're back. we're back on the floor for a couple, all right? We've got the crush press. Good. So remember, we're trying to push in as we go up. So. Nice job, Logan. About 15 of these and tricep extensions. Good work. Nice job. You guys are thinking chest, we're thinking triceps here. Stay right there, catch your breath for a second. Little chest. Oh yeah. Little triceps. Yeah. <laughs> perfect, perfect. All right. So guys, again, I, I like those because you got a little different dynamic going on. Um, the next exercise, we've got, we've got the broomstick here. You guys might be using gallon jugs or dumbbells. All right. Once the weights are up, guys, arms are angled back slightly. different grip. So guys, you can play with this. We'll see how this goes. I haven't done them like this before. So Logan kind of has the karate chop grip yeah. here. So guys, we got the pour the milk here. Let's see how this one works. All right. All right. So, so straight arm and then turn and then back. Are you okay? Yeah. Nice. Great job. Great job. They are tough. They're tough. Uh, 
Dave will challenge you. Wow. He's, yeah. You, you, you spent a little bit in the shoulders? Yeah. All right. All right. Take a breath. We'll get maybe one or two more, Logan. Nice work. That's it. That's it. Good job. Good job. Let me set this up, Logan. And uh, guys, we've got that the one arm Arnold press here. Okay. So as we're doing this, we want to start elbow in front, and then elbow goes out. Palm facing behind you. Palm facing forward. Okay. Great. Right. And guys, we've got maybe 10, 15 of these. Good job, Logan. That's it, Logan. And now those in front, perfect. Drive them up. Good. Awesome job. one Logan. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Guys we have bench dips. Oh you want the chair again? Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. So guys when you set up the chair you want your legs fairly straight. That's perfect. So you, and that looks really good. Great job. Focus on the triceps the whole time. today. Nice job. Okay. Guys, once you get your second round, that is our chest, shoulder, tricep workout. So a lot of pushes here today. Um, maybe, maybe try some new stuff. And I know that that porter milk was new for Logan. So we, and with the gallon jugs, you know, we tried a couple different little things, but uh, I think they're pretty effective. Yeah. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed that routine, guys. Stay safe and healthy out there with everything going on. Uh, this is Elite Fitness, and we're bringing wellness to you.